Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Your Highness. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey everyone. Hey everybody, welcome back to Film Artsy. I'm your guy, Trevor Baker, and today we are breaking down the brand new Matrix 4, the Matrix Resurrection trailer, and talking about all of the things that you might have missed that maybe will lead us to some semblance of a storyline. And I'll give you my general thoughts about the trailer along the way. So let's go down the rabbit hole together. Before we get into this trailer review, let me know which Matrix movie is your favorite. And if it's not number one, what's wrong with you? I think a better question here is, what is your favorite Matrix moment? Let me know in the comments below. And now let's get started. So Matrix number four, it's coming finally. It's been like a movie that's been rumored for years and years on end and now it's, it's happening. It's happening like soon and I'm, pretty excited about it except i will be honest the first time i saw the trailer i was kind of like that doesn't look very good but after watching it probably on a healthy amount of times it's not bad and there's a lot of little lace intricacies in this trailer it's very well crafted trailer the music is phenomenal it's perfect for the alice in wonderland symbolism along with the matrix and how it's always been kind of tied with that alice in wonderland mysticism and secretive and wonderland-esque theme is it's interesting i'm like i'm interested to see this film do i think we're gonna get a matrix one again well that sounds like an almost flawless movie it seems unlikely that being said i am excited for what it seems to be but i don't want to get my hopes up too high because matrix two and three didn't exactly land the plane very well and although i do enjoy the trilogy overall when it comes to rating these movies you know we got one that's like god tier and the other two they're like well they're sci-fi flicks and there they are so that being said there's some really interesting things that i saw in this trailer and after looking at some youtube comments i think some things that other videos are missing so i want to highlight those and get you pumped up for matrix 4. the first question which is on the forefront of probably everybody's mind is well it seems that neo and trinity are alive kind of sort of resurrection and and neo being like this you know savior like figure in the matrix movies has resurrected apparently and you actually see glimpses of him in his body from the third movie getting repaired by the robots you can see his burnt out eyes and then there's a little glimpse of him waking up now it's hard to determine what's real what's true what's a dream because obviously there's a reference to dreams in the beginning of this trailer but at the same time it does seem that the robots put humpty dumpty back together again or rather put neo back together again the same could be said about trinity i think because you do see Trinity obviously in the trailer and then you have a short glimpse of someone who looks like they're waking up in their robot energy pod into the matrix thing and it does look like Trinity. All that being said, I do think there's a little bit of a difference between Neo and Trinity and the way things are going. First, Neo is the one he integrated with Agent Smith in the matrix code. So I think that might have something to do with the way like he looks in the mirror and he sees someone else. People are hypothesizing that that's the architect that's agent smith i'm not convinced that it's either of them it didn't look like anybody except just, just some random dude but it clearly concerned neo upon seeing this other alternate face well the one thing i don't see a lot of people talk about is this is similar to what happened to trinity when she does this rage yell she's screaming in the trailer and these personalities split out of her and you can see faces of other people who are definitely not trinity it makes me wonder if the resurrection process that they went through to get them reintegrated into the matrix was costing the lives of other people and in doing so they're having these split personality over like it's breaking the code what have you because it's not really made to resurrect people and i'm still wondering why trinity would be in her consciousness would be kept or how she would be alive because she was definitely not in the third movie I also think this is a big driving point for whatever Neo is doing, whether he was out of the Matrix and he's coming back into the Matrix, or whether the machines did keep good on their promise and they got Neo into the Matrix and like suppressed him with the blue pills so he can no longer mess with their promise because he took care of Agent Smith, now they can run the Matrix the way they want, or they're holding him hostage that they will delete Trinity because they are keeping her consciousness alive. All those things I think are very viable plots, but figuring out a Matrix plot is like, 
an asinine task. I've watched the trilogy. I'm not entirely sure what the whole storyline is. And it's still, after watching it numerous times. Also, there's a little glimpse here of Trinity's neck. You can clearly see the Matrix code. So there's something unstable about Trinity. You can tell that. Also, there's a couple other screenshots in this trailer where you see them touching and some white light emitting from their touch, showing some kind of connection of power. And once again, I don't know what that is, but it's in there and it's definitely worth noting. Before we continue our video, I just want to let you guys know that we have a really cool Instagram that updates on a regular basis. So if you like all things Marvel, this is the Instagram for you. So go follow that LMRT Instagram right now. You won't regret it. I promise you. Seriously, open Instagram right now and click that follow button. Now back to the video. Upon other things, in case you missed it, there's definitely agents again, and we saw them, and it's not our beloved Agent Smith, which makes sense because Agent Smith was eradicated in the third movie, and bringing him back, I feel like would have undone the story arc of the first three, but these agents are still being used by the robots, and they're clearly still after Morpheus, or who we think might be a younger Morpheus, a rebirth Morph Morpheus, because Trinity and Keanu Reeves' Neo has aged, but this Morpheus is gotten younger if it is Morpheus. I mean, it's an odd way to make a character look exactly like Morpheus and not be Morpheus. Maybe he's a Morpheus enthusiast. Who knows? He is getting chased by the agents, so that shows that there's some kind of conflict there. And I actually think there's a conflict between the people who are maybe able to disengage from the Matrix, the woken up people. You have this really clear contrast between the red pill and the blue pill, right? The, one, the blue pill that keeps you in the Matrix and happy and not worrying about what's out and beyond. And then the red pill that wakes you up and takes you on this wild ride that we see in the first three movies. You see one of the seemingly good guys with the jet blue hair. And then you see Morpheus with the stark contrasting red collared shirt and whatnot. So I'm wondering if there's like some kind of yin and yang conflict. Those who believe that this matrix should be left the way it is because people are happy and it works for both the robots and the humans. And then there might be this other side of freedom fighters that are like, no, no matter what, you need to be woken up because it's your life and you need to know. Who knows? Also something that I saw in this trailer that I thought was really cool is just Neo's powers getting explored to its full depth. You see him stopping bullets, you see him redirecting missiles, you see him blow up the freaking dojo with young Morpheus. So it's all very interesting and he's clearly still got the one ability. So whether that's stopping to take the blue pill and bring those back, thus leading the, us on the adventure of whatever is happening, or he's always had them, who's to say, or they're fully developed. Who knows? I, who knows? I don't know. Another thing you just enjoy throughout this trailer is little callbacks to the movie. Obviously you have the black cat, which is what we saw with Deja Vu. You have the you know white rabbit and all the references to Alice in Wonderland. So there's just a lot of nostalgia oozing out of this film. Overall, I thought this trailer was a really good look for where they're going. There's some really interesting things. I thought most of the Easter eggs, I would say, is you see Neo getting reborn and put back together. Trinity also having a very similar experience. There's clearly a connection to them that equals power and probably something that either the robots are concerned about or the agents are concerned about. Whoever it is, they probably don't want Neo and Trinity to be together because in doing so, it does something. It's clear and it's obvious in the trailer. And then also you have this really stark conflict between the red and the blue pills. Now, if you saw anything else, let me know in the comments below. But what did you think about this trailer? Are you excited for Matrix number four? Do you think they should just have stopped? Let me know your thoughts below. And as always, if you like this video and you want to see more, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, so you'd be the first to know when a new video comes out. All that being said, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.